students, how's everyone doing? I hope all of you are good, so let's get started! Good morning students, We're welcome to our art class. But before that, let us pray. Lord, thank you for this day. Bless our students with the kind of study habits that help them to do their best. Show them how to develop their talents to find the path you have to set before them and to be courageous and adventurous to try new things and learn new skills. Show them the importance of learning, remembering that you are always with them. In them, as they acknowledge you daily, help them to be excited about their studies, to be creative in their end divorce. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Okay class, our topic for today is all about painting. So, what is painting? Painting class, the practice of applying paint, pigment, color, or other medium to an artwork. Again, when do we say painting, it is a practice of applying paint, pigment, color, or other medium to an artwork. And it is making a picture, figure, or landscape with the use of brush, knife, sponge, and other implements. Painting may be done in walls, canvas, wood, glue, lacquer, leaf, and other materials. Next. Now we will talk about the important Philippine natural and historical places. The first one is rice terraces. Next, we have landscape of Batanes. Then the third one, Hollow Cave, Old House of Tall, Tarogan, Pawai Church, and then Miyagyao Church. So the first one is Rice Terraces. The Ifugao Rice Terraces is famous because of its amphitheater-like setting. For 2,000 years, the contours of the mountain are followed by the high rice fields and rice terraces of the Philippine Cordilleras. This is a fruit of hardly four of the Ipugaos by the use of human hand. Again, by the use of human hand. Now, let's go to the second one. We have, what is that? Okay, that is landscape. And landscape, the Philippine government declared it a protected landscape and seascape in 1992. And landscape of Batanes, Batanes is a living cultural landscape. Again, class, remember that Batanes is a living cultural landscape. Next, what is the third one? What is that? So that is Halo Cave. Halo Cave is one of the limestone caves located in municipality of Peña Blanca, Cagayan Province. And did you know that Calo Cave, known as one of the best natural tourist attraction of the province. Again, cast Calo Cave is known as one of the best natural tourist attractions of the province. Next, we have, what is that? Okay, that is Old House of Taal, okay? Poblacion was declared a heritage town and was designated as a national historical landmark. Next, we have Torogan, okay? Torogan in Marawi. The ancestral house of the Maranao Sultan or Datu has a soaring salakot shaped roof, ornate themes, and massive paws or proclaiming exalted status. Again, class, the Torogan is the ancestral house of the Maranao Sultan or Datu. Okay, next we have, what is that? Okay, that is Pawai Church. So what is a Pawai Church? Pawai Church is the Church of San Agustin, commonly known as the Pawai Church is in the municipality of Pawai in Ilocos Norte. And its construction began in 1604 and it finally completed in 1710. Again, Poway Church class, its construction began in 1604 and finally completed in 1710. 
Okay, next. So that is Miyagyao Church or Church of Santo Tomas de Villanueva in Iloilo was built in 1797. The church stands as living legacy of the culture and the way of life of people in the area. And this was declared the Baroque Churches of the Philippines. Again, the Miyagyo Church declared the Baroque Churches of the Philippines and by the UNESCO. Again, class, this was declared the Baroque Churches of the Philippines declared by UNESCO. Okay, next. Now, we will talk about the Filipino painters and their works. So, the number one is Fabian C. De La Rosa. Then, we have Fernando C. Amorsolo. The third one, Carlos V. Francisco. The fourth one, we have Vicente S. Manansala. And then, Jose V. Blanco. Victorio C. Edades. Prudential V. Lamarosa, Manuel D. Baldemore, and then the last one, Juan Marcos Aureliano. Okay, now let's talk about Fabian C. De La Rosa. So Fabian C. De La Rosa is a master of genre. He is best remembered for his paintings, landscape, portraits, and everyday scene of women doing daily activities just as cleaning, washing clothes, and more. And class, um, Pabianci de la Rosa works are Riverview of Santa Ana, Los Baños, Planting Rice, and Marikina Valley. Okay, next. We have Fernando C. Amor Solo. So, Fernando C. Amorsolo, or what is the middle name of Fernando Amorsolo? It's Cueto. And it's one of the most important artists in the history of Philippine painting. Again, class, did you know that Fernando C. Amorsolo is the one of the most important artists in the story of the Philippine painting? He was a portraitist and a painter of rural Philippine landscape. He was the first to be designated as the national artist. Again, class, he was the first to be designated as the national artist. And his works are the Lagang Bukid, Maiden in Stream, and Sunday Morning Going to Town. Okay, next, we have Carlos B. Francisco. Okay, the second Filipino received the title National Artist in Painting. He was the poet of Angono who revived the forgotten art of mural painting. And Carlos B. Francisco, a.k.a. Botong, okay? And the middle name of Carlos Francisco is Villaluz, okay? So the work of Carlos B. Francisco are Fiesta, Bayanihan sa Bukid, and the Matrodome of Rizal. Next class, we have... Vicente S. Manansala. So Vicente S. Manansala, a Filipino cubist painter, and he was recognized as national artist in visual arts. His talents was revealed when he made copies from Sagrada Familia. And he was a Filipino, again, Filipino cubist painter, and is the work of Vicente S. Manansala or Mother Portrait from a Photograph and Mother and Child. Changge, Madonna of the Slums. Okay, next. Jose V. Blanco. So, Jose V. Blanco, he was muralist and national artist nominee. He was the patriarch of the Blanco family and is one of the well-known artists of Agono in Rizal. Influenced by Walting Pran Cisco. And he was fond of using earthly colors to show a more realistic style in painting. One of his artwork in his own version of The Last Upper, and his famous work is the Agono Town Fiesta, where a hundred figures, including himself, were included in the giant canvas. Okay, the examples of work of Jose V. Blanco are in Carabao Cart and Magtatahit. Okay, next, we 
we have Victorio C. Edades. He earned for himself the title of father of modern Philippine art. His painting colors were dark and somber, depicting laborers, factor, factory workers, and the simple pulse. And Victorio C. Edades is a painter. He's recognized for revolutionizing the art modern painting. He used dark tones and heavy brush strokes. And his work are the builders, which is the builders, and which made him a national artist for visual in 1976. Okay, next we have Prudencio V. Lamorosa. He was a Filipino artist known for his hyperrealist and surrealistic landscape painting. Okay, surrealistic landscape paintings. He is concerned with his choices always. He is regarded as an artist artist, okay? And he was known as king of his pandas. Okay, class, again, Prudential B. Lamorosa, known as king of his pandas. Okay, next, Manuel D. Baldemore. Manuel D. Baldemore, he was a painter, sculptor, printmaker, and graphic designer. He loves to paint and the scenery and lifestyle of the town's people in Laguna and international scenes and escape. So the work of Manuel D. Valdemore are Mounting Ngayon and Starry and also the Starry Night. Next class, we have Juan Marcos Aureliano. So Juan Marcos Aureliano is a painter, architect. Design and zoning Olan of Manila City as well as the design of the Metropolitan Theater and the old legislative building. And we call it now as National Museum. So the work of Juan Marcos Aureliano are Larea Floreros and House in San Juan. Okay, next. Okay, class for our summary. Filipino painters are number one, we have Fabian C. De La Rosa, Fernando C. Amor Solo, Carlos B. Francisco, Vicente S. Manansala, Jose V. Blanco, Victorio C. Edades, Prudencio B. Lamorosa, Manuel D. Valdemore, and Juan Marcos Aureliano. And the important Philippine natural historical places are we have number one, rice terraces. Number two, landscape of Batanes. The third one, we have Callow Cape. Old House of Tall. Then Torogan. Poway Church. And the Agyao Church. So, kindly check your Google Classroom for your assignment. Pages 129 to 131 in your Mape book. Okay, class. Thank you for listening. See you next meeting. Goodbye.